It's a totally diver. It was the best song in the world. Um, I just want to show you guys um, this. It's a box with every note I passed in junior high. Oh my God. I'm gonna read all of them. <laughs> They're really good. A lot of them are about any better, but not. I did use to sign off uh, most of my notes with Kalorn and Better, so that's good. Um, a couple things to read. I pulled a couple gems from the, the box, as Bill <coughs> sometimes say. And so I'm gonna follow up with possibly the most shameful thing I've ever written in my life. It's horrible. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> Pardon me. This is bad. <laughs> This is actually a um, letter I received from my seventh grade boyfriend after we broke up. And yes, it's him, but it's really about the asshole that I was. Dear Kalorn, I thought we were friends. Bullshit. <laughs> Maybe a wave between each other now and then in the breezeway, but that's it. I got a note yesterday, but who cares? It doesn't mean anything. You wrote one to lots of guys. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> lots of places. Terrible handwriting, too. Uh, when I was at your house a couple days ago, we held hands and we gave each other a hug. I thought it meant something. But it turns out you do that for anyone. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> now you like Tom and Tucker. And you talked to them at the baseball field, you just ignored me, but not Tucker. At first I thought you liked me, but you haven't told me that lately, so I'm assuming you don't. <laughs> but if you don't, I will never say anything bad about you, because I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> Even though I'm just liked like a friend now, I still like you more than anyone I've ever met. The reason is because you're just so perfect, <laughs> Except for when you talk to Tucker. <laughs> You're not mean or stuck up like most girls who, have <laughs> who hate everything about boys. You have a talent, <laughs> looks and smarts. You actually care about other people and not just yourself. Well, except for me. I know, oh, poor guy. Brutal. He's a cop now. Things worked out for him. I'm sorry, I have a really hard time reading this handwriting. I'm sorry that you like Tucker, and I'm sorry you don't want to hug me or hold my hand. I'm out of paper, just like you were always saying. <laughs> when you want to write to Tom or Tucker. So I guess I'll see you in the hall tomorrow. Who knows? You might say some words. <laughs> it is such a good feeling to let this out because it hurts like hell. Turn over now. <laughs> I rolled so many hearts in seventh grade, you guys. I was really happy when we were friends. Now I'm always depressed. Goodbye. <laughs> I know. I think I'm probably going to run long, so I'm going to save the um, notes talking about all the sluts in school. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, maybe it might be, maybe we want a quick one. <laughs> <laughs> I was super insecure, and so I would write these notes back and forth to guys to get them to compliment me. Good times. <laughs> Romano, this is me. Oh God, I'm in love. Who gives a shit about Bo? Mike is Mr. Kiss. What do you mean, bragging about me? Well, we're going to his house after school for a while. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen there. I was 14. This is terrible. Does he really like me? I can't believe I like him so much. I like him mass. <laughs> Bo is a shithead. Love Kalorn. <laughs> this is Romano. I have no idea who Romano is. <laughs> well, he was kind of bragging. But he just told me that he dumped Sarah and then he was with you after school and that you guys kissed. He also told me that he bitched at Amy because she doesn't like you. Oh, 
Well, that should get me a few more people, a few more people who want to kick my ass. I got my ass kicked a lot in school. <laughs> I don't even know Amy. Oh well. I want to beat Bo up. I want to pound his dick into the cement. <laughs> I've got a real man now. <laughs> JK, I'm such a bitch. <laughs> Instead of getting me a birthday present, he should save up and get his new girlfriend an Epilady Ultra for those hairy pants. <laughs> I'm so mean. I love Kalorn. I don't know the whole story about Amy, but I did hear she doesn't shave her armpits. I heard that they were bitching at each other yesterday sometime. Yes, I agree. Bo should get his cock knocked to the dirt. <laughs> he had no right to go through your stuff. He went through my stuff. <laughs> well, I hope that you and Mike have mad, passionate love when you go over to his house later today. Love, Ramona. Right. And I shall finish by reading this. Um, this is a poem that I wrote that was published on the last page of my high school yearbook. Wow. <laughs> my senior year. Juanita Rebels, class of 95. It is called The Time Is Now. <laughs> in brush script font, which is the best font for serious poems. <laughs> the Time Is Now. Driving in all those cars down long, slick roads on all those dark, wet nights. Memories made with each passing street lamp, gently shining arcs of truth and light. A friend's smile, a bit of melody, loose talk, laughter, all blurred and illuminated forever by those passing and fading beams of dim light. This is Kirkland, by the way, fuck this. <laughs> No romanticizing Kirkland, you guys. The time is now. <laughs> to unroll the window against the cold, lean out your head and smell the night. <laughs> Wind on your face as you drive. No destination, just going. All those weekend nights blending into one. And in the sharp air, you've never felt as free. The time is now. <laughs> or music will never hit you in the same way again. Lyrics roll down over you, slip inside you. <laughs> and far in the future, when you hear that same song, you can just turn it up and think back to when music made time, not just reminded you of them. And all the songs you've ever heard have made you what you are. The time is now. Inside you, a pearl of everything you've ever known. I have no idea what the fuck's going on anymore. <laughs> you think you will never forget a friend's laugh or smile, although these two may fade in passing. And though those, the, and those close to you may not follow your path or dream your dreams, they should stay with you, close to you. They were there when you became who you are. They have seen. They have shared. <laughs> the time is now! <laughs> to draw up in all these things, all that you've learned and gained, everything sacred, youth! <laughs> Take it in, one sweet breath. Breathe! <laughs> For life will never smell this sweet again. Make it last, and it will come back. Candle box also went to my high school.